Hey guys, what's up? It's me, PK Cubed, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you my start to our computer that I made. And so, as you can see, we've got some inputs here, and then we've got these um, pins or buttons or whatever. And then you can see our ALU is right here, um, and we've got it hooked up to the add and subtract pin. And then we've also got it hooked up to some registers. So a register just holds one 8-bit value, so one byte, and it shows it, shows it in hexadecimal which is a little bit confusing sometimes. I don't really know how to read hexadecimal, but um, it's kind of helpful for some people, um, and it doesn't really cause too many problems. It's kind of nice. Um, anyway, you can also, um, our output over here, um, that's coming out of register C, and all of these are connected to one bus, but you can turn them all on and off. So right here we've got register A to bus. If you turn that on, it controls, it goes over here, and it turns on this controlled buffer, which right here, um, it's just a controlled buffer, and it will, it's basically just a transistor. Um, you got your input here, you got your output here, and then this, this pin turns it on and off. It's red because we don't have anything hooked up right now. So I'll delete that and delete these wires. So, yeah, these are our registers. We've got three of them. This one is for our first input. This one is for our second input, and register C is for our output. So if we wanted to try this, I've got a, a 2 in here. So let's try something like 5, and then we can press input to bus, which will put this input into our bus, and now you can see the input is in our bus, which is this black wire running down through everything. And a bus just basically is a common connection point for all of our components, like these registers and the ALU. And then you have these pins here that um, trigger those components. So right now, if we wanted to put this number in register A, because that's our first value that goes into the ALU, so you can see um, right here, uh, number a, or letter A on the ALU goes directly into register's A output. And it doesn't need the buffer because it's not going to anything else. So if we wanted to put 101, or 5 into register A, we would, oh, we need to turn the clock, so ticks enabled. That just basically, uh, it, the, the clock is what's um, updating the registers. So right now, there's no input, so it's going to stay the same. But right here, um, this one that enables uh, bus to register A, which is right here, bus to register A, we turn that on and wait for the clock to tick through. Uh, it was already five, but now it's five. So if we just just to show you, if we put something like three in here, now it's three uh, with the clock. And if we wanted to turn onto a higher clock speed, let's try sixteen hertz. Now it's really ticking. Now let's go back to five, and now it's basically it's almost instant. Um, it's not instant. It's definitely not instant, but it's a lot closer to instant. Um, anyway, I'll go back to 1 hertz so we can visualize that. So, 1 hertz just means it ticks every second. Turns on, turns off, once a second. So, yeah, there's our first number. Now, if we want to add something to register B, we would turn off re uh, bus to register A, and then we put in what we want to um, add to the first one or mo uh, subtract from the first one. So, let's do 5 plus 2. So this is 2 in binary. Now we'll just do bus to register B. So 2 right there. And actually, uh, I'll try once more. Let's just do 3. Uh, there we go. And bus to register B. And now it is 3. Now we'll turn that off. Now, if we want to view the, the sum of these, then we can turn on ALU to bus. And that will bring the ALU's output into the bus. So going through this buffer which controls that and that goes right into the bus. Now before we do that we need to turn off input to bus and then we can turn on ALU to bus. Now as you can see um, 5 plus 3 is 8 right here. That's what this shows. And then there's one thing we can do. We can put it into register C which is our output register. So all we have to do is click bus to register C like this, wait for it to tick, and now 8 is in register C. And that also 
is going to our output, which I need to label real quick. I'll just click on that and click output. There we go. I should capitalize it. Uh, do that real quick. There we go. Proper output. So yeah, this is basically our computer, and I'll do some subtraction real quick to uh, just show you. Um, so let's do uh, turn these off. Input to bus, and we'll do we'll do nine, and then we'll put that in register A. Wait for the clock to tick through. Okay. Now we'll do nine minus seven, which is these three ones. That should be a seven, so we'll put it in register B. Wait for the clock to tick through. There we go. Now we have nine and seven. So. Now we can uh, look at the sub the the subtraction answer, so we can turn it on to subtract mode with this pin, and then we can click on ALU to bus, and that should give us what um, nine minus seven was, which is two, and then um, if we put that in register C, so bus to register C, wait for it to click through. Now we have two in our output and two in register C. So yeah, this is basically our computer so far, and it can do basically everything, um, except it can't run programs. So that's what we're going to address in the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!